far-fetched to talk about that detachment when our goal is to achieve success, good health, and financial freedom. Not everyone can leave their family, go to the jungle, and meditate throughout their lives without any desire. In some way, that is also a desire. <laughs> Subhas here and in this video I'm going to share with you on how to invoke a powerful desire to achieve anything you want in your life. By the end of this video you will learn practical steps that you can take to start practicing cultivating desires which is the first step towards your freedom. So please make sure you stick around until the end of this video because you will learn easy steps that you can apply immediately and start your journey towards your future. Before I begin this video, I want to quickly announce that the free one-to-one -one consultation with me for the Self Mastery Online program is open. So please make sure you click on the link in the description below to sign up for a free consultation with me to see if we would be a good fit to work together. And please make sure you come in Self Mastery Online down below for a chance to win my digital book for free every single Saturday. With that, let's get started. Mindset is the most important muscle that you can grow that will lead you towards success. But how do we practice a mindset that is in line with our future self? The answer to that is to cultivate the desires that are in line with your future life. I know many ancient practices will tell you that any desires you have are not good and will keep you hooked. It is true in some sense, but I think it's a bit far-fetched to talk about that detachment when our goal is to achieve success, good health, and financial freedom. Not everyone can leave their family, go to the jungle and meditate throughout their lives without any desire. In some way, that is also a desire. If you're in this world, we can still have desires to try to strive to be a better version of ourselves. If you want to feel better than what you're feeling right now, the minimum thing that you need is a desire. How do you find what our desires are? Is wanting more money, a big house, nice cars are your true desires? Suppose they are your true desires, then there's no problem. However, if this is coming out of envy of others, jealousy, you'll need to look at what scarcity or shortfalls you have in your life and what your true desires are. What is your unwavering desire? A famous quote from Napoleon Hill goes like this. Success comes to those who become success conscious. Failure comes to those who will allow themselves to become failure conscious. When you create an unwavering desire, you'll be able to follow through if any obstacles come your way. You'll be able to keep pushing through and not give up when the victory is just around the corner. One famous example is during the gold rush. A large family discovered a supply of gold but they didn't have the machinery for mining it. They put together a plan to obtain the machinery and began to dig. They realized they had one of the best mines in Colorado and everything was fantastic for a short period of time. Then they couldn't find the gold. It had dried up and disappeared. They gave up and sold the machinery, cutting their losses. What they didn't realize was that if they had continued digging for just three feet more, they would have found the gold once more, affected by simple fault line. Another family did indeed find that gold and obtain the riches the original family would have had if they hadn't given up. How can you be sure that you didn't miss out on something amazing if you give up? Okay, so with that, let's get to the practical steps on practicing unwavering desires. Step number one, list the wants. The first step is to find out what your true desires are. You may desire a nice car, nice relationship, nice house, lots of money, peace, enlightenment, promotion, etc. Quiet your mind and keep listing these items. Step number two, choose three items. Choose three items that give you the most satisfaction. It could be three items in three categories, short-term goal, mid-term goal, and long-term goal. These items could be a relationship, acquiring money, car, etc. Step number three, be specific. For each of the items, write specific paragraphs that will give you more information to that desire. If you want a new car, be specific. Which car do you want? Is it BMW? Is it Audi? What model? What color would you like? What extras would be in the interior? What specific details about your desire that you want? Also write the date on when you would get this by. For example, maybe in three months. Step number four, create a plan. For each item, write a plan to get it. How are you planning to get this item? 
There's no such thing as something for nothing. You'll need to have a plan on how you're going to achieve it. Whether you will create a savings plan or create a new business venture, extra time on your job, there's bound to be something you can do towards it. Just write it down. It does not have to be perfect. Many people struggle with this because they only desire, but they don't want to do any work to get it. You can change this as you go, as the plan could change and there could be a new plan with which you could get this faster. Step number five. Recitation. Plan to read your desires two times a day, first thing in the morning and before you fall asleep. With affirmations and visualization, you'll be able to make your desires more alive every day. You will ask your reticular activating system to start looking for your new opportunities when you recite this two times every day. This process will make your vague want into a strong desire. When obstacles come your way, you won't buckle and you won't give up on your dreams. This simple process will make your want into a strong desire that you will get no matter what. Instead of giving up easily when adversity comes into your life, you'll keep stepping on those until you acquire what you desire. Many people like Rockefeller, Roosevelt, um, Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Edison are good examples of unwavering desires and becoming very successful. We can do the same. We're no different. We're all magnificent. And when we put our mind to it, we can achieve it. I hope this helped and I'll be creating more videos on this kind of topic. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit that little bell. So you're notified of any new video that I put out. Also, I would love to know what you think of this video. So please leave me a comment. The free one-to-one -one consultation for the Self Mastery Online program is open where you get an opportunity to work with me closely so we can help you unblock all areas of your life. And what we do in Self Mastery Online program is we work at the core, at the subconscious level. Because where you are in your life right now is all the result of who you are. And where you want to get to, you need to become the version that's worthy of it. This concept is from classic hit Think and Grow Rich and I'll be creating complete series on other topics of this book so we can all achieve success. Make sure you click on the link in the description below to sign up for your free one-to-one -one consultation and I would love to help you in person. I'm super excited to announce that the Facebook group is open so you can click on the link in the description below to sign up. I'll be building a community of great people. With that, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay fearless.